Yeah, you know, a lot of the time we get a lot of pushback in this idea of data and sort of what data is more important than others. I guess maybe highlight for us like a, I mean, Tesla has more real, real world miles than anyone else by far. I think we must have more than everyone else. Uh, maybe a hundred times more than times everyone more. else. Yeah, you combined. said five percent. I think on you. You said they have altogether five percent of. It's probably closer to one percent. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. So there must be sort of events that are specific to Tesla in there that no one else has. I guess, could you sort of talk about some of that uniqueness? Well, I think it's just really the, the, the long tail of weird events, the million weird situations, you know, all sorts of weather conditions, all kinds of road conditions, situations where the road rules aren't even followed. Like they're not, they're not always followed. Like, you know, say somebody working on the road might make a mistake and then suddenly you've, you've got a situation where there are no, no road cones. Uh, or there's a big hole in the road, or something really nutty, or a completely strange object that's on the road that's not recognized. So it's really the the the, the reason Tesla I think is making rapid progress is because we have vastly more data, and this is increasing exponentially. With as our fleet is increasing exponentially, our data is increasing exponentially. Then I think we've got like I said the best technical team, and although I've brought it up before, people don't seem to really be. Uh, taking note of the fact that the Tesla autopilot AI computer is about to roll into production, you know, anyone who's ordered full self driving will will get that replay, will get that for free. It's really, you know, I've said it has like maybe it's like a order of magnitude improvement over the Nvidia system that we have, but it's really more like maybe two thousand percent. Yeah, our analyst on AI deep learning spent nine years at Nvidia and concluded that you were at least three years, just looking initially at the specs, at least three years ahead of anybody else out there, any other auto manufacturer. Yeah, and we, we started the CHIP program about three years ago because it, it just seems as though we, we would want to advance making things. If you want to have a complex neural network, you need a combination of software and hardware. Um, and your software needs to be that much better in order to compensate for hardware if the hardware is weaker. You know, if you look at sort of like, say, how video games and how they've progressed, it's a combination of software and, and hardware. No amount of clever software could produce a video game on old hardware that you have today. It just doesn't matter, you know. So the same thing with neural nets. So right now we can process on the order of, you know, 100 frames a second. And we really need to do a lot of work in terms of cropping the frames and sort of bending the pixels and uh, not going to full resolution on all cameras and that kind of thing with the current hardware, we're at full frames, full resolution with the, with the Tesla hardware, all cameras at full resolution, full frames. Wow, that's and crazy. It still hasn't tapped out. Yeah. 